All right, your boy Vader, this is on the rise. We got Bugatti Holla in here. How you doing, G? I'm doing great, bro. I'm blessed. How you doing, bro? I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm very happy right now. Uh, shit, this shit came out of the blue. <laughs> that ass. That ass. Yeah, and um, you hit me up, and you're just like, yeah, I like what you're doing. I'm like, where? I like what you're doing, too. Uh, we both do media. Facts. Um, but you are on the more uh, side of just, like, what's going, like, really what's going on in the streets. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And um, I really respect that. Um, black media. I love black media. Mm -hmm. uh, my girlfriend put me on to you. I was telling you. I was just telling you off camera. But I just want to let the audience know. And. Yeah, she told me, like, yeah, there's, a, there's, like, a black dude doing, like, media on the streets. Uh, she's like, you know, like, Sidewalk? No, it's a black guy. I'm like, what? I'm like, what's it called? He's like, gangsta nigga news. I'm yeah. like, what? Yo, 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 the name. Let's start with the name. <laughs> All right, it started off as gangsta nigga news. If anybody, any Albany resident, anybody else in the 518, they know. There was a riot back, in, what, May 30th, 2020? It's a big riot, and I was there from the time it popped off to the end. Like, it was an all-day affair. Like, they told this city the fuck up. Word. Boy, <laughs> all the hair was gone. They took all the Kanika line, the, the weird, all the hair. The beauty. For some reason, they just loved the beauty supply stores. Word. They tore that shit up. But no, GNN, Gates Nigga News, it started as off as a joke. You know, CNN, GNN, you know, what's that dude name? Anderson Cooper or whatever that be out there in the field? Yeah. So I'm, you know, okay, yeah, well, they had a big ass truck stopped in the middle of the truck, in the street, people snatching the milk out. It was weird. And then what I didn't know was that shit was catchy. Boy, I'm going viral during this riot. And I said that, as soon as I said that, it took off. People were like, oh, that's catchy, you should do that. Do, 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 do. I swear to God, the next day, bro, after all this riot stuff, it became a real thing. Like they was looking forward to seeing like the results of the riot and everything else after that. And it just so happened, shit was happening after that. Then there was an incident on Henry Johnson Boulevard outside the police station. Yeah. So then after that, I'm like, you know what? That's when the Black Lives Matter movement was going heavy out here. So I said, let me follow that. I mean, we following the breadcrumbs. Let's see what this lead to. And sure enough, I mean, it, 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 it took, man, that, that shit took me to Rochester, it took me to DC. It took me all over the, the capital region. It's all over this shit. And there's people that really love that shit, bro. So I had to clean it up. It, it went from gangsta nigga news, because let's keep it 100. I ain't want no white folks saying gangsta nigga news. Yeah. Nah. So I changed the gangsta news network. Mm -hmm. but, nah, I mean, so that's what that is. This is I told you, it's all a story behind that shit. It's hilarious. Right. So it's gangsta news network now. Yeah. That is pretty clean. <laughs> yeah, very clean. Big, big difference from gangsta nigga news. Yeah, yeah. Right. I, I fuck with the original to the max, <laughs> but, but I also fuck with the clean yeah, one. Too. The white people, I can say it. That's the name. That's gangsta the nigga new. Like what? Like, oh, nah, nah. Yeah. Word, word, word. That is fucking wild. Yeah, bro. Like I even like now. Like I, ever since I've been like following you um, on Facebook and shit. Like I just, bro. I'll just be scrolling and I will just see some wild shit. And I see the logo. I'm like, oh, oh wait, oh. it's him. I'm like. Oh, I didn't know that happened. I'm like, <laughs> that I'm like, part. damn. Now that part right there, that part of the whole GNN thing, that came from after all the Black Lives Matter stuff, I found myself asking myself, what next? What now? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, Black Lives Matter, yeah, nothing, nothing against it. It's still Black Lives Matter, but what about my community? What about where I'm from? I'm like, wait a minute, I'm focusing on the wrong thing here. Let me get back to my community. And inside my community, you got so much happening, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, and that is where shit hits more close to the home with me. Because, like, this city is but so small. If something happened on the other side, we're going to hear about it over here just the same. And yeah. you, know, you might have family or somebody that's real close that that, that, that should affect. So at the end of the day, it's like, damn, bro. I've been out since 9 too. We moved out from Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. It's a long time, bro. This shit ain't, this, it's, it's been the same for the longest. And it's like, yo, bro, we, we losing wild good people, bro. You understand how many people going from uptown, downtown, cross town, Troy, whatever. Mad people not here no more, bro. Like, and I, I understand it takes time to realize that, but I think I'm past that. I, I, I passed that point where it's like, yo, wait a minute. We just doing the same shit over and over, bro. Like, nah, man. 
Cause one thing I ain't trying, one thing I ain't trying to see is nobody up north or up at Graceland. That's bullshit, bro. It's young. It's time we gotta save ourselves, bro. Cause ain't nobody gonna do it, and they just letting us tear ourselves up. So man, that's where it all came with. I mean, worry about my my area. Or definitely, when we got females dying out here and shit in the middle of people's crossfire. It's the females and babies for me, really. Yeah, did I you? Mean, men gonna do what they do, but it's the babies and the women that should not be getting fucked with. Did you see the story? Um, this was, I think, this was over like a year ago, maybe. It's like a year, year or so ago, where the kid, it was like a ba- at a daycare center. It's like the daycare center, like over like um, uptown area thing. It's like over there by um, uh, Quell Street, I believe it was. Uh, yeah, bro, it was like a little baby got yeah. hit in the leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like crazy stuff. It's crazy. Yeah, that ain't stuff. the first time shit like that happened. Uh, that ain't the first time shit like that happened down here. That shit is wild though, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, like I said, men gonna be men. We gonna do dumb shit. We gonna, yeah. If motherfuckers is gang banging, we gonna gang bang. That's what it is. Can't change. I mean, I, you hope, I, I think you can change it, but some for the most part, motherfuckers are setting their ways. So fuck all that. Yeah. What about these women and kids, bro? We gotta protect these babies, bro. Our bullshit is getting the wrong people caught up in it. Nigga, how you go down for the wrong body? <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait <laughs> it's a not minute. funny, but it's like, damn. Wait, no, no, God, wait. Think about it. If I want to kill you, I want to make sure if I go down for a body, it's you. Not the motherfucker standing. Uh, come on, man. And these niggas out here ain't got no aim. Mm-hmm. And, and so giving, giving us like a backstory, could you tell us what it was like uh, growing up? You know, uh, you say you're from Brooklyn, but um, when you came out here, like, you know, because you're like OG, you know what I mean? You know yeah. what's going on. You know? Bro, in the 30s, I guess that's what we is now. If you make it to the 30s out here, boy, you were OG. Word. Weird as hell, because when we was younger, I guess it was the same. I don't know. It didn't feel, it felt like the niggas that was above us was older. Well, 30s is your prime, but, like, in the streets, like, yeah, if you hit your 30s, bro, like. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. You've you seen a lot more than what the usual people see. It's facts. Man, first of all, we left Brooklyn and moved out here thinking that it was better. Mm-hmm. That was Brooklyn back in the 90s, though. It was, Albany is better. <laughs> and, and none of this shit's fucking with the town. But that's irrelevant. This place is it got its own thing going. And this shit is dangerous, too, out here. Boy, growing up in these streets, man, I done met some of the illest dudes. And like I said, it don't matter where they from. I've never been tripped on that where you from shit. That's all about how you is when you pull up on me. If you cool, I'm cool. Anybody, anybody that ever met me know they always oh, ask the bro. Yeah, what? That's what I do. I ain't with all that bullshit. I like to have fun. Let's chill. Let's smoke. You like what up? You want to drink? We can do that type of thing. I mean, I like the vibe. But um, being out here, bro, I've seen. I've noticed because I did. I've been to jail twice. I've been up north twice, so I've noticed something. Going to jail, it saved. It sounds fucked up, bro, but it'll save your life. Especially when you really out here bugging, jail can save your life, bro. Before somebody can kill you out here, judge gonna fucking lock you up. And then you take a break, come back. And you know what I noticed? A lot of the people, like my, my age and whatever, the younger dudes that's out here now, younger dudes and girls, whatever, that's, the gen- that's their kids. And people right above me, that's their kids out here. Like, oh shit. It's just weird, bro, it's weird. One day I woke up like, damn, I'm really 30? Like, damn, bro, them 20s go by fast. Yeah, I'm 26. So I'm trying to tell you, boy, when you get up in them 20s, boy, that shit go by fast. And before you know it, you were OG, like you said, bro. Like, how does it feel? That shit feel weird because it's a disconnect. I don't know everybody for, I don't know why, but I don't know where motherfuckers come from, but this is all still the same people around the city. Remember, this city is but so big. Yeah. So we all know each other in one way or another. Or we know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. What's that so called? Six degrees of separation, some shit like that. Mm. But you, you six people away from knowing somebody. Man, we all know each other out here, boy. That shit's walking. Yeah, Albany. The, uh, one thing when I when I first moved up here when I was uh, 19 and 2014, moved up here. My older brother was already up here, mm. and shit. And um, First thing he said to me, it was weird. The first thing he said to me, he was like, look, man, you know, you're going to be up here. You're going to be chilling. He's like, look, remember what I'm telling you now, Albany, Smallbany. I'm like, what? He's like, Albany, yeah. Smallbany. I'm yeah. like, 
Let's play small, right, bro. Whatever. I'm like, all right, whatever, you nigga. Fuck around, and, <laughs> fuck around, and, you fuck around and pop one of your best friends, ex girlfriends. That easy. It's that easy. Like, yeah. shit small, bro. And, and but now I, I never understood that until the past few like two, three years. Like I'm like, oh, and I've been up here for like eight years. You know what I mean? So now mm-hmm. I'm like, uh, like it just hit me back then. Like, oh shit. Oh, this is what he means. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you be on Facebook and then shit go down real quick. Yeah, you this see how, down how real close quick. everyone is. It's, mm-hmm. and don't be the and don't be the butt of a joke. Don't be a clown out here, cause my yeah. oh, man, this small city will burn your ass up. Yeah, 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 definitely. So like, you know, after seeing like everything that's going on, like, you know what I mean? And you know, you said, oh, you saw Black Lives Matter. Do you think like what you've been through growing up and everything like really like pushes you to um, you know? get the news out to the people and the loved ones and stuff like that? Do you think, you know, what you've been through has helped you, like, move forward with your career with news? As far as the journalism part? So yeah. I'm, I'm a man of many, many things, many talents, many talents. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the journalism part? Hell yeah, bro. Because one of my first memories I had being in Brooklyn before we left was seeing two dudes get bodied right up under my project building, shot the Fort Greene, Brooklyn. Yeah, but more or less, um, Seeing two people get killed. It was like six. How the fuck I remember this 30 years later? I'm 36 now. How the fuck I remember this 30 years later? Clear as day. I mean, so yeah, that shit's weird, bro. So, like I said, and being out here for so long, I've lost so many good friends. Uptown, downtown, all around town. I've lost many good people. People that wasn't even in the get street life. I lost mad people out here, bro. And that shit sucks. Because one day you wake up and you look and there's nobody around. None of your friends are here no more because niggas are dead in jail. Mm. But as far as the journalism thing, um, I feel like in order to prevent families from feeling that shit, especially mothers and shit, because you know it's the mothers that's really out here losing their children, the fathers, wherever the fuck they are. But nonetheless, the parents, the parents and the family members and the very close friends that really give a fuck, bro, a lot of these people don't know What's going on out here? They mind their business. They they doing what they live in their life. They got kids. They doing whatever it is they doing. They don't know that their little nephew or their cousin or their brother is out here wilding out. Or not wilded out. I mean there's a lot of innocent bystanders and innocent bystanders and shit. And I've learned that doing what I do, bro, I didn't know what I was doing at first. It's like it's in the dark, just finding. Like I don't know what to do. I mean, like you said, we were talking about the sidewinder dude. He's pretty cool. Some of the shit that he, like, I, I'm from the streets. He's on the other side of the fence. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, obviously there's a disconnect. But as far as his craft and what he do, as far as getting news out to the people, bro, that shit is hot. Yeah. Like, get, let Definitely. people know what's going on because you can't trust WM. And this is weird, bro, because motherfuckers sit there and wait for WTN, fucking WNYT. CBS, they wait for them to say shit and they ain't saying shit. Yeah. Or they keep regurgitating some written bullshit that they was told. Yeah. And you're getting some old ass news. Now, if I can get the right news to your people about what happened, whether it, whether you got locked up or shot the fuck up, faster than WNYT and them, boy, and clearly I can, why not? What am I doing wrong? Or because, because, because sorry, Pete, well, because no, like, but like I said, like my girlfriend put, put me on here, and I was talking to her today. I was like, "Yo, I just got, I just got, I just got, I, just got, I got an interview. So we about to do it today." And, she, I'm, and I was like, "Then we were talking, like as I was telling you earlier, we were talking." And I'm just like, "Yo, why do these niggas hate that nigga, bro? Do you know what I mean? Can we talk about that?" Yeah, yes. Yo, bro. One day specifically, I went into my shares. You yeah, know, my my shits go up. Yeah. So one day I went into my shares just looking. Right? And how about I'm looking, I see people talking about, oh, this nigga 12. Oh, this nigga this, this nigga that. And I'm trying to sit there and be like, wait a minute. I'm 12? <laughs> Who I got arrested? Nobody. <laughs> like, so it's like, wait a minute. So how the fuck am I 12? If I'm, and then a lot of this shit is news articles. Shit that I ain't published. Somebody else wrote that. There's, a, there's an author to that article. I'm just sharing it and it go up and now. I'm 12. I don't know how that worked. 
Mm. You know what I mean? I thought you gotta get niggas knocked, or your name gotta be on some piece of paper. I'm from the hood, you know what I mean? I've been out here, I'm still out here, you know what I mean? Your name gotta be in black and white. Yeah. You told. Is your name part of this case file? Can anybody go to jail right now and say, yeah, Gene, they got your ass locked up? No, no, Gene, they ain't do that. Mm -hmm. So how the fuck is that boy 12? You know what I realized? Niggas is ignorant. And no matter what you do, bro, there will always be somebody that don't like what the world will never all together agree to like you. Yeah. Hell no. So what you do with the naysayers is, fuck them. You don't pay attention to that. I mean, we just talk about that. Sometimes it's best if you don't even pay attention to that shit. Because that shit for the wrong person, it could fuck their whole career choice up. Yeah. Man, fuck that shit, bro. Yeah. Like, until you see me get a nigga knocked off of any content, let me know. Do you, do you think, like, um, like, it's, it's crazy that you said, because, like, I feel like with black people, like, when you do media, it's you got to be real careful being yeah, a black you person you doing do. media, bro. You do. But, it, you know, one thing you got to do that comes with that shit, you got to have a spine. You, you got to stand on your material. Whatever you put out, you got to stand on that. If you wrote an article, stand on that shit. You know, not everybody going to want to hear it. But um, the way I see it, as long as I ain't getting nobody arrested, especially that, because I'm from the hood, bro. I've been told on. I've, oh, niggas going to see this one and be like, oh, damn, I told on something back on. Yeah, 07, 07 next up was 06. Yeah, niggas going to remember that. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, God damn, son. <laughs> oh, man, he remember? Yeah, niggas told me back in the day, too, but at the end of the day, bro, I'm not here to get niggas arrested. Let me tell you something now. I don't know what society think, but jail don't fix nothing. You know what I mean? If dude going, if anybody going to change, it's up in here. You know what I mean? And if, until then, whatever. But jail don't fix shit, bro. And damn sure Graceland Cemetery don't fix nothing either. So you got one or the other. What you want to do? It's weird. But nah. As long as, um... If you're going to do media, as long as you ain't getting no, incriminating nobody, that's just my opinion. Now, you, once you incriminate niggas on some shit, now, fat boy. <laughs> hey, no, hey, no, 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 you on, you on that ice. You go ahead and do your thing. Do your thing. That's what journalism gets. It's a nasty business. Yeah. It, shit get raunchy. Ask the TMZ workers. It get real. You can get hurt behind this shit. But, like, my, the way I see it is, as long as you ain't getting nobody not, do you. Go mm -hmm. do your thing, be the best you can be, bro. Yeah. There's ways to be successful without hurting nobody or stepping on nobody. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, as a journalist with, with news, whatever happened, happened without you even doing anything. You're just saying something about it. Yeah. It ain't my fault niggas listening to me more than they listening to you. Yeah. Get your followers up. Do you, do you think that, um, because, essentially, because essentially what happens is, like you, like you said, they, you put out something. It's already been out there. It's public record. Mm -hmm. Now you're you're a snitch or you're you're whatever. What can you say exactly? <laughs> no, because I'm not a street nigga. I, yeah, I say, yeah, yeah. What what exactly is a snitch like? It, oh, a rat. I'm yeah, like, right what, what, point blank period. If you get somebody arrested in any way, mm -hmm. your ass a rat. Okay. I don't give a damn. Okay. If you your name appear on anybody's court paperwork, you're a rat. Okay. If you sitting there talking to police, pointing at it, you a rat. Okay. Other than that, bro. But what if what if you don't do what if all right, what if you're not street and you've never done anything <laughs> uh, street? Oh, I ain't gonna hold you. All right. Because all right. those because that's crazy. I'm not gonna hold you. Uh, it doesn't. The rule, the street rules when don't. She behind it. Street rules don't apply to a non street motherfucker. Yeah. Okay. If you punch, no offense to anybody. I, I love my white folk. But if you go ahead and punch some random white dude or, or whatever, what they gonna do? What do you think they're gonna do? They're gonna call police. Cause they're not like that. Why would you hit them? You know what I mean? That, it's just a whole different Okay, but what about a what about a black person in the hood that isn't like that either? And oh that nigga tell police that hey, that's he, that's he's not like that. You know what I mean? He doesn't he, he's not he's the same as a, a, a white person. Like well, the, well, police. well the reason why I say that is Expect because that black shit. because black because black people in the hood that are really on the street, they, they may go tell and then now everyone yeah, in the hood is black are saying that bro. that person's a rap. You get what I'm saying there? There's black people in the hood that ain't even hood. Don't let that go over your head. Yeah. Niggas be out here pump faking. They put on the mask every fucking morning they wake up before they yeah. come out the door. Niggas be pump faking. Yeah. Shots fired, niggas get down real low. Mm -hmm. They get extra low. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas this is it's I mean, but at the end of the day. If you're not known as a street individual, bro, honestly, street rules don't apply. Straight up. Okay. You can't blame somebody who's not, don't know the street code or don't follow that shit to follow the street. Get the fuck out of here. I would never. 
That's the dumbest shit. If I shoot a motherfucker, how can I get mad if he press charges and he ain't no street dude? Now, you can expect the street dude to be like, nah, I ain't going to the police because, you know, sometimes they don't want to get caught up. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, think of it like robbing a drug dealer. What the fuck are you going to tell the police? Oh, he stole my drugs. Nigga, shut up. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's, there's no rules there. Yeah. But when it's not that, bro, there's rules, and you might want to think about them shits before you go ahead and fuck with that person. Because they will tell. Expect them to tell. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've always, it's always been that way. If they're not street, they're going to tell. Females, going to tell. Kids, going to tell. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's just motherfuckers want everybody to follow their bullshit. It's all right. I mean, it's street life. You got to break that shit. Once you break that chain, that, that dumb thinking, you're like, oh, all right, I see it better. It don't apply to y'all. Word, 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 word. No, I just, I just. <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, just in case the nigga swiggle. Bro, bro, because I'm black and I'm from the hood. And like, no, I mean, I grew up getting into fights and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to uh, protect myself and shit like that. But what I'm saying is, like, just for other people, I don't even put myself in that situation, but there's people that like, they get knocked out or they get robbed, bro, and they be in the hood, and then it's like, damn, I had to tell authorities that I got some robbed, and then, oh, I heard you told. Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. like, if you live down the street from me in the hood, <laughs> we gonna get you. Because, like, bro, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. There's a lot of niggas, remember me saying this, and I know people gonna see this part and be like, facts. There's niggas out here, bro. You think we'll hold water? When shit gets spicy, Mm-mm. 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 Niggas don't, bro. <sighs> Boy. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> niggas a tell, bro. Niggas will sit there and be down, down for everything until they get caught, bro. Then they be singing, bro. I don't know what it be. I don't know where that animosity, where that thug gangster shit go. Once niggas actually get knocked and they start listening to the police who can't even really tell them what they're going to get. Only a judge can tell you. Only a judge can tell you what you're going to get. Just remember that. Because y'all be bugging. Y'all be talking to the fucking... Y'all talk to a fucking beat officer. Like, bro, you're bugging. Like, no pressure. Like, he just came right in and told. But, bro, there's, there's people out here that ain't even like that, bro. I don't know what it is. I think it's influ influence. It's the influence. Mm. It's the influence. Social influence out here these days. Times change, bro. It's 2021. This ain't the 90s. The damn shit ain't the early 2000s. This ain't none of that. Times change every fucking year, bro. So you just gotta adjust with it, bro. Word, word, word. Word, adjust. So, Lean, it's good that you talked about uh, social media. Like, how has social media, like, helped you out, you know what I mean? Like, with, uh, you know, career. And I know you were saying, like, off camera, you were saying, like, you used to do, like, comedy and oh, stuff like that. that shit. You like, still do it? Cool. Oh, okay. See, because yeah, I only, man. bro, I only, I just got put on. I the minute somebody hit me up and be like, yo, bro, I want you to perform on stage, I'm there. I does that. that was, that's my first love. I'm a class clown. I got kicked out of Albany High freshman year for being stupid like that. I, mean, I like to have fun. I mean, so comedy is my first love. The GNN shit came after. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's not me. That's not who I am. That, that became something to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, man, comedy, man. Social media. How did it help? Man, it was big. Shout out to my boy Tweez. Tweez told me to do that. Tweez told me he was the first person to tell me to go live. I never used to go live, bro. I hated that shit. But he was like, yo, bro, you funny. Do that shit. Man, listen. And just being consistent. Keeping your material consistent and just being consistent. Going live, film, all on a regular. People get used to seeing you, bro. You make people feel like they know you, bro. And next thing you know, they do know you, because you know what I mean? Every day, they, I mean, that shit is awesome, bro. Social media works when you know how to work that shit, boy. Believe that. You gotta, you gotta have that brain that you just can't jump out on social media doing dumb shit and thinking, oh, no, it don't work that way, bro. Mm -hmm. It's a whole trick to it. You gotta know how to work it, remember that. Word, word, word. Word, bro. So with everything going on, you know what I mean? Your, you know, your career with, you know, news and media and journalism, it's going up. Really. It really is going up on social media platforms. Mm -hmm. Bro, you really got the area in tune. Shit is fire. Shit is definitely Thank fire. You, bro. Word. You know, um, is there anything like any future goals you have or any set plans you have that's good for the future that you want the audience to know about? Oh, man, we got I got a few things I'm about to start doing around the area for the 518. Mm -hmm. I mean, for the area, more or less. 
um, programs aimed toward the kids. Like, you know, I know, I'm pretty sure you heard about the Dads on Duty down in Louisiana. Yeah, yeah, they, they got the dads at the school. We're about to start that up here in Albany. Word? Right? Huh? Yeah, actually, about the first time we're about to be linked up tomorrow afternoon. Real talk. So hopefully we can get this being a real thing, bro. Because at the end of the day, I'm more trying to focus on, um, of course, I'm going to let people know what goes on around them. Because like I said, like a lot of people don't know what happens until they see it on my shit. They're like, oh, damn, I didn't know it just happened. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I'm going to keep that going, but that ain't my end game. I mean, ultimately, I want to save these kids, bro. I mean, any kid that need help with shit, man, somebody got to step up and help these kids, bro. And there's a lot of people that want to do it. Word. There's a lot of people that want to do it, and I'm down. I'm going to be one of them. Word. Work about, worry about, worry about these kids. That's the end game. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't want to bust my eyes. Work. Okay. There we go. Sorry about that. Yeah. And um, other, than, other than that, is there anything else that you like to tell people? Anything anything that even you find funny or <laughs> just like any side notes that you want to let the people know? <laughs> yeah. Ain't no fucking 12. GNN ain't mm -hmm. no damn police. GNN don't work with the police. Mm -hmm. I'm working, in, in a sense, I'm working against the police. I don't want niggas to get arrested. Yeah. So in a way, I don't want police to do their job as far as arresting people out here. And I mean, especially these young dudes. I mean, somebody got to get them about the mix before shit happens. And that's what I'm trying to do. I mean, Gene, no, Gene and ain't no fucking police. Watch your mouth, man. And uh, other than that, man, everything's everything. You already know, man. I'm just caring about the next man as long as they want to be cared about. If you don't give a fuck about yourself, I don't give a fuck about you either. It is what it is. I feel the same. <laughs> I be feeling, I be feeling the same is, too, bro. bro. I feel the same too about that. I ain't gonna hold you. It is what it is. <laughs> Fuck them, nigga. Any naysayers. I don't give a damn about none of that. Like, you could never, nobody's negative shit could ever have me like, no, I ain't gonna do this no more. What the fuck mm -hmm. I look like? Yeah, all right. For one, for every one person that don't like it, there's 10. There's, fuck that, 100 to 200. There's, there's hundreds of people that like that. They appreciate that work. Like mm -hmm. I told you before, boy, the shit I do help people. I've helped people recover missing kids. I've helped people get uh, financial help after being in a fire. I've helped people blow up their GoFundMe's with my group. Like, bro, I'm for the people. That's what I'm more or less. I'm for the people. That's what I'm for. That's what it's all about, man. Real shit. Word, word, word. Yeah, that shit is fire. Listen to them, people. Listen, audience, right. please listen to them. I know what my Stacks. city's been through. I know what my city's been through for the last 29 years. That's how long I've been out here, 29 years. Mm -hmm. I know what my city's been through. Who the fuck want to step up and, I mean, let's, 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 which I need somebody to drop a documentary and tell a wrong story again, like they just did that bullshit? Come on, man. Nah, bro, we got to change that whole narrative. I mean, but... Until motherfuckers experience growth, you know, it ain't never gonna happen. Yeah. Well, you know, it was nice having you. Of course, brother. You know what I mean? Definitely. We got it. That cool ass name, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? We'll talk about that. Word, word, word. And, um, you know, thank you for pulling up. I really do appreciate it. taking your time out the day to just get this work done and just, yeah, boy, you know, do it for the area. That ass, bro. You know? I appreciate this. Oh, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Definitely. If I have to do some more shit, we come back. Oh, yeah. yeah you already know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, with that being said, hope the audience loved it. And, you know, it's your boy Vader. It's on the rise. And we out.